Bolitha has been playing with ruined pianos for quite a few years now and um, I suppose in terms of, of the piano itself John Cage established or invented the notion of the prepared piano back in the 1930s but Ross Bolitha uses pianos that are naturally prepared they're prepared by the elements, they're prepared by neglect but they're not prepared by active human intervention it's absolutely unique in the world and, and, and Ross is for the sensitivity he has to the instruments that he uses for the very musicality of his work for the passion that he puts into it all of these things have garnered an international reputation for Ross Bolter and he's known the world over the piano convergence involves going into the country mainly into the dry country and getting lots of ruined pianos um, preferably getting people to donate uh, ruined pianos then you bring the ruined pianos into one large space and you arrange them in a huge double curve and uh, you open the bottoms of the pianos and you open the top and you allow people access to the insides of the piano as well as to the keys and then you in a way give permission for them to explore the sounds of pianos that have gone beyond being tunable you wouldn't think of them as in tune or out of tune and um, often people will explore where you have lots of people playing at once so in a way you have a kind of developing composition with its ebbs and flows as people play uh, the pianos <laughs> There are many levels um, from, that range from out of tune through neglected to dilapidated down to ruined and devastated and decomposed. This is kind of pathology of pianos. But as pianos go down that uh, path, uh, they make incredibly interesting sounds. And so the piano labyrinth really is an exploration of that sound world. And what I've done is to open the bottom of the pianos so that you have access to the strings of the piano because um, some of the most exciting sounds are actually more available through the strings directly than they are through the keyboard because in many cases the keyboards have become impossible. So you may hit a note but nothing happens in an interesting way. This piano here uh, was in the shed for 30 years uh, at Bolgart and uh, uh, unfortunately the door of the shed was open <laughs> uh, so you have a lot of cobwebs inside as well looking in the top is interesting uh, further around is a piano caught in the Mora floods uh, with its story uh, with it another piano that was caught in a house fire in Cardinia uh, with its story um, with it mm. 